Hello everyone, my name is Nayan Wong. I teach history at Leeward Community College and today my activity is making rabbit lanterns for the Chinese Autumn Moon Festival. And now this is a tradition that goes back more than 2000 years uh, to the Han Dynasty when people would honor the gods by lighting hundreds and hundreds of lanterns. The higher up the lantern went, uh, you know, the closer it would be to the gods and they made wishes on these lanterns uh, and it represented peace and good luck uh, and forgiveness. Uh, and at the same time, this festival became more and more popular. Uh, people made it into a 10 day festival uh, where they would also go moon gazing and eat moon cakes. Uh, and it happens right around February. And one of the stories is that a very loyal rabbit impressed and pleased the gods. Uh, so there is a rabbit in the moon. This is what the Chinese say. And as they gaze at the moon, they do see a rabbit. Uh, so a lot of children will hold rabbit lanterns as they go through this very um, popular festival. And I'm going to show you how to do this. So you don't need that many items. Uh, you do need some index cards or some kind of cardboard uh, because you're going to use this as the face of the rabbit. You're going to fold the card in half. And you want to draw the face of the rabbit onto the card, okay? but you want to make sure that the nose of the rabbit is attached to the fold of the card because you're going to cut this out. Uh, now I'm going to show you, of course, you do, of course, need a scissors and I'm just going to cut this out to show you how that works. And here we have the rabbit face. Uh, then you need some markers so that you can draw the face onto the rabbit like I've done here. And you also need some sort of cup or a little cardboard box of some sort. You could just use muffin tins or something stiff like this uh, because this will be the body of the rabbit that you're going to make into the lantern. Parents, you can help, uh, you know, your children with this. Um, you can attach the face of the rabbit with tape. Uh, maybe staplers would be better. And the rabbit face goes on here. Yeah. You can cut out some designs. You can just print them out from the internet. I printed out this Chinese design. You can just Google Chinese designs. And then I colored it. And then of course, um, do the same with the tail. So you just cut out a tail in whatever shape you want. Or maybe even a cotton ball would be fun. And you attach it the same way with tape or staplers. Uh, the other thing that you can do, of course, is get some ribbon like I've done here uh, so that you can carry the lantern because that is traditionally what is done uh, with the children during moon gazing. And again, same thing, just staple or glue. Uh, you can put them in many different shapes. So I've done several different types here. Uh, this one is a little bit larger and maybe, you know, you can put a bigger light in there um, and you can do them in different colors. So here you go. Uh, and again, decorate and color as you see fit uh, and go out and have some fun uh, gazing at the moon, uh, carry them out into the yard and have a good time maybe uh, gazing at the moon in the dark with your lantern lights. And of course, I do suggest finally that you don't use real candles, obviously. Uh, so use some kind of LED light uh, and that'll be much safer or maybe even some blinking LED lights, which could be a lot of fun. Uh, thank you. Uh, this is my activity. Uh, hopefully you will try it out because it's a lot of interesting fun for the kids and everybody else. And obviously uh, check out our other videos. Have some fun.